What we'd like to do now is show you how to connect a single lens reflex camera to the telescope and take pictures of any objects that are bright in the sky or anything that's in the daytime. In this particular case we have a Canon SLR and we begin by taking the main lens off of that camera and using a Canon T-ring. If you have Pentax or Nikon you'll need the Pentax or Nikon T-ring. What we do is if you take a real close look here at the focuser and where the eyepiece is here, we take the eyepiece out of the, uh, the telescope and this barrel actually unthreads from the focuser. And you'll notice that there are some external threads here on this uh, telescope where this barrel is coming out right here. You'll take your T-ring, again in this case it's a Canon T-ring, and thread that onto the outside of those uh, external rings. What I usually do is uh, attach the camera at this point before tightening it up so that I can line it up properly and that the T-ring uh, slips into place on the camera, lock it into place and then finish tightening up the, uh, the threads on there. You can always adjust uh, the position of the camera uh, by loosening off the thumb screws and then tightening things into position. What we'll do now is use the finder scope to line up the moon, uh, which is there in the uh, nice afternoon sky. I've got the crosshairs dead center on the, uh, on the moon. through, the And you'll need to do your settings on manual with uh, uh, shutter speed and ISO speed because there's no aperture adjustment on this. I've set the camera this afternoon for uh, exposure of 1 1,000th of a second at ISO 200. We'll snap our picture and uh, there it shows up on the, the screen of the camera. Beautiful. Beautiful picture of the uh, afternoon moon. You can do the same thing at night. You'll be adjusting the shutter speed and the ISO speed until you get the correct exposure. But once again, if you have a camera that uses live view, you can use that to, uh, to zoom in and focus and get your picture of the, the moon on the screen of the camera as well. And then again, take your picture. You end up with the, uh, a beautiful picture. So in effect, you have a telephoto lens of 1200 millimeters with this style of telescope uh, for anything that you want to attach your camera to.